Now, where do we get ideas and information that can help transform our life? Let's go through the information. Just take these notes. Here's number one, PE, personal experience. It's one way to pick up ideas from your own personal experience. One way to learn to do it right is what? Do it wrong. Now the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong 10 years, we suggest that's long enough. We don't suggest 10 more years just to prove a point. No. If you're broke at the end of 10 years, couldn't we evaluate that? <laughs> yeah. I meet Mr. Shope, I've been working six years. He said, Mr. Owen, you've been working six years. How are you doing? I said, not very well. He said, I suggest you not do that anymore. <laughs> are you gonna go another six? Wouldn't you like the next six to be totally different than the last six? And I said, yes, sir. Then he said, we're gonna find out, first of all, where you've messed up. We're going to change that so that the next six are totally different than the last six. And the reason human beings can do that is because they're human beings, not a goose, not a spider, not an alligator. Human beings can tear up the last six and develop a whole brand new six anytime you want to. I did it. If I did it, a farm boy from Idaho raised in obscurity, there isn't anybody in this room that can't do it. So number one, learn from your own experience. Here's number two. OPE, just jot that down, other people's experiences. That's why I'm here, I'm one of these other people. If I come along and share with you, no telling what I might save you from. You gotta listen to other people, save you a bankruptcy. Listen to somebody, save you a divorce. Listen to somebody, save you loss of a friendship. Okay, listen to somebody, save you a tragedy, save you from falling out of the sky, save you from a cardiovascular disaster save you so other people can be so valuable now the other people are divided into two categories here they are number one failures you got to listen to the failures it's too bad failures don't give seminars I'm telling you be valuable <laughs> a guy that's messed up his life for 40 years you just got to say John would you spend a day with me <laughs> I'll bring my journal, take excellent notes, tell me. Good looking guy like you, got a beautiful family, every reason for doing well, threw it all away. Tell me how you messed up. I'll take the notes. So here's the clue, learn from negative as well as positive. Learn from failure as well as success. That's why the Bible is such a good book. I'm an amateur, but I'm telling you, it's a good book. Why, it's got a list of stories on both sides of the ledger, human stories. One list of human stories in the Bible is called examples. Do what these people did, look how it worked out. And the other list is what? Warnings. <laughs> Warnings, don't do what these clods did. It's disaster. What a good book with two sets of stories on the positive and the negative side. So learn from failure as well as success. In our leadership series we teach, find out what poor people read and don't read it. <laughs> Gosh, this stuff's easy to learn. Find out how they talk and what? Don't talk that way. Find out the language they use and don't use it. Find out what they blame and get you a different list. I'm telling you, learn from failure, learn from tragedy. Okay, now here's the other side, learn from success. People have got something going of value that you could learn from, whatever the value is. A mother who has magic with her children. Wouldn't you wanna know? Of course. You say, Mary, would you meet me tomorrow morning for breakfast, need a little cafe? You won't believe the service. I'll pick up the tab. She says, okay. She meets you tomorrow morning for breakfast. You say, Mary, I got to know, where did you get this magic with your children? She says, well, to be honest with you, up until three years ago, my kids were out of control. And then I read this book. I went to this class and they gave me a little one, two, three program. And I've been using that now the last three years, and that's how come I got this magic with my children. Would that be a valuable breakfast? Would you pick up the tab? Of course. Here's what can save you so much heartache and put you on the road to wealth and power and success, and that is picking up the information from other people.